हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वन एंड ऑल अगेन इन द मिजो स्टडी डॉट कॉम एंड इन दिस सेशन अगेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर फ्रॉम द नीट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अबाउट एनिमल किंगडम वी डिस्कस द वेरियस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनिमल किंगडम वन बाय वन लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फ्रॉम द एनिमल किंगडम दैट वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम नीट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज the animal belonging to phylum dash are diploblastic here are four options option a includes platyhelminths b askelminths c cilentrata and d annelida to find out the solution for this as we all know the word first of all we just discuss the word diploblastic again di means to di means to plastic means type of layers so this is the feature in which there is a presence of two germinal layers two germinal layers if it is a triploblastic there is a presence of tri word means three triploblastics and three germinal layers in this generally two germinal layers includes ectoderm and endoderm as the word ecto means outside and endo means inside ecto means inside the body so when we are discussing about the above features or the above uh, phylums out of the four which phylum show the diploblastic layers that are generally shown by embryos of poriferans and nidarians and nidarians nidarians is also known as cilentiretas cilentrates so when we are discussing about the diploblastic layer and the triploblastic in triploblastic generally when we are discussing about the triploblastic it means there is a presence of tri three layers and in these three layer are categorized as ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm but the question is asking about the diploblastic only so that are present in cilentrates out of four option that generally present in cilentrates or nidarians so the right answer is cylindrates let's move on to the question so according to the discussion the right answer for the question is option c let's move on to the next question the next question is the formation of canal system in sponges is due to the formation of canal system is discussed in sponges is due to option a folding of inner wall option b gastrovascular system c reproduction d porous wall as we all know when we discuss about the sponges in the cycles there is a presence of various type of canal system why there is a canal system important because they take the various materials and the nutrients through the water again release the excretory waste in the water that is removed out from the body there are three basic type name as 
एस्कन साइकन एंड ल्यूकन टाइप ऑफ कैनाल सिस्टम फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थ्री देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कैनाल सिस्टम एस्कन साइकन एंड ल्यूकन एज यू डिस्कस इन फाइलम पॉरीफेरा ऑल दिस कम अंडर इन द फाइलम पॉरीफेरा Again, when we discuss about the canal system in sponges, that generally show the second type of canal system. Second type of canal system that generally derived from that generally derived from ascanoids. Eskenoid. That eskenoid derivation is generally by by horizontal folding, by horizontal folding of walls, by horizontal foldings of various wall. It generally show the types of canal system that is second type. Again. when we discuss about the lucan type of canal system lucan type of canal system this type of canal system is more complex more complex and again and formed by and formed by in folding of in folding of body wall in folding of body wall from the second type means second type is again fold or in folding show the in folding process and convert into the more complex system converted into the more complex system that is leucan type so according to the discussion the right answer is this the folding of inner walls either in the term of horizontal or the any another medium even in the type of eskan saikan and leucan both these both three generally show the single process name as a folding of inner wall for the formation of canal system as canal system is the holy soli systems that generally helps to brought out the various body functions with the help of water currents so according to the discussion the right answer is option a that is folding of inner walls in the question so let's move on to the next question from the animal kingdom that is one of the exclusive characters of cylindrates is the occurrence of a polymorphism b flame cells d hermaphrodite hermaphrodite and d is nematocyst when we are uh, know about the exclusive features about the cylindrates that we all know in cylindrates there is a presence of nematocysts nematocyst is the peculiar cells that is present in the cylindrates and the cells which generally help in the growth of nematocysts are known as blastic cells means nematoblast nematoblast cells these nematoblast cells are known as a exclusive feature of exclusive feature of cylindrates exclusive feature of cylindrates these peculiar features are generally having the chitinous there is a presence of chitin double wall chitin double wall 
कॉलेजनस कॉलेजनस कैप्स्यूल लाइक वॉल कैप्स्यूल विद ऑपरक्यूलम विद द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑपरक्यूलम ऑपरक्यूलम इज एक्ट एज अ लिड दैट जनरली हेल्प्स टू एनकाउंटर और द एंट्री और एग्जिट फ्रॉम और इन द सेल वट आर द रोल्स दैट इज प्रेजेंट वी आर जनरली डन विद द वट काइंड ऑफ लेयर और वट काइंड ऑफ द फीचर्स द वोल विल हैव और मेट्रोसिस्ट विल हैव नाउ वट आर द रोल्स the various roles of nematocyst they act as organ of offense organ of offense and defense organ of offense and defense in cilentrata along with the offense and defense part they generally help help in food capture also help in food capture also help in locomotion part and last one is they help to encourage encourage of the animal encourage of the animal now when we are talking about nematocyst it contains it contains a poisonous fluid poisonous fluid of protein for poisonous fluid of proteins proteins and phenol known as known as hypnotoxin hypnotoxin due to this toxin only they will act as organ to offense means protect itself and defense defense means they are able to protect itself and offense means they are capturing their food so because of the presence of these poisonous fluid name as a hypotoxin so after discussing all these things we generally know the exclusive and the peculiar features of cilentrates is the presence of nematocyst that is the presence of nematocyst so after discussing all this the right answer for the question is option d that is the presence of nematocyst is the exclusive and the peculiar features of phylum cilentrata let's move on to the next question the next question is which one of the following is a matching pair out of the four option we have to find out the correct match pair of an animal and a certain phenomena or the features it exhibits option a includes ferritima means sexual dimorphism b musca shows complete metamorphism c fs trophallaxis and d tenia polymorphism out of these four option only one is correctly match and rest three are the wrong one in this case to find out the correct one is in musca musca there is a development when we are talking about the development of an organism either it is a direct and indirect development as we are discussed in the session in musca the development is development is indirect type development is in collector incorrect type or indirect type with metamorphosis 
with metamorphosis and these metamorphosis is of complete type complete type also known as holo metabolism also known as a holo metabolism including including complete cycle of four stages including four cycle or four stages that are egg egg hatched out to the formation of larva larva converted into the pupa stage and pupa finally convert into the adult one these are the type of complete metamorphosis or holo metabolism when we are discussing about complete one means the above which we are discussing in muska larva after hatching larva after hatching molds several time molds several times to become to become a fully grown one to become a fully grown one in later in later when larva convert into the completely pupa stage pupa with in a secreted case secreted case of puparium puparium after this secretions of or accumulation of piparium in the larva it will convert into the pupa stage and then pupa stage is differentiated into young adult young adult that breaks that breaks the piparium wall piparium breaks and come out and come out emerges out this is the growth in generally a mature form mature form so after discussing all this the right answer for the question is about the muska in muska only there is a presence of complete type of metamorphosis and the holo metabolism because it generally includes the four stage that is egg converted into the larva larva into pupa and pupa into again young adult and from young adult it will convert into the mature adult so according to the discussion the right answer for the question is muska that is show complete type of metamorphosis let's move on to the next question the next question from animal kingdom is during the life cycle fasciola hepatica that is liver fluke infects its intermediate host it means their environment or including of two host one is a primary host and next is a intermediary host and primary host at the following larval stage respectively here are four options option a radia and miracidium b cercaria and radia c metacercaria and cercaria d is miracidium and metacercaria here are the various larval stages out of these four we generally check out the larval stage of fasciola hepatica in its intermediate or primary host first of all we generally discuss about the fasciola hepatica as we all know 
these are the zoological name and we have to underline it separately because we can't write it in italics forms when we in write it in a handwriting manner so we underline it separately physiola uh, hepatica has digenetic digenetic life cycle this is a very important thing digenetic help or digenetic life cycle what do you understand by digenetic life cycle it means they will pass their life cycle life cycle in two different host first is a primary host first host is known as a primary host that is sheep in the case of fasciola hepatica the primary host is sheep and intermediate now we'll discuss about the intermediate host intermediate host is fresh water i'm writing fresh water gastropod that is snails and snail is also known as a planobis planobis species when primary host when primary host harbor adult fluke from the primary host adult fluke enter into the intermediate host intermediate host it will pass through the in the middle there is a various larval stages various larval stages in the middle during its life cycle in fasciola in life cycle of fasciola these generally includes basically two larval stages known as miracidium miracidium and next is metacercaria metacercaria here are the two major larval stages that adult fluke will opt that adult fluke will opt to transfer it from to sheep that is primary host to intermediate host that is snail and that generally transferring includes two larval stages first is a miracidium and next is a metacercaria so along with the help of these two larval stages the fasciola hepatica moves from primary host that is sheep to intermediate host that is snail also known as a planobis so the right answer for the question is the larval stage is metacercaria and miracidium the option which include both the larval stages are the right one so according to the discussion the right answer for the question is option d that is miracidium and metacercaria let's move on to the next question the next question from animal kingdom is by radial symmetry and lack of nidoblast are the characteristics of we are talking about two prospective first is a bilateral symmetry and nidoblast absence here are four options a is hydra and starfish b starfish and c anemone c is tenoplana and biroe and d is aurelia and paramecium when we are talking about the bilateral symmetry first by radial here are two features which we are talking about by radial symmetry and lack of 
lack of needoblasts lack of needoblast these are the peculiar features in tenophora tenophora as we all know example of tenophora are tenoplena and biroi as we are discussing about biroi and tenoplena now we are discussing the various features of tenophora as we all know tenophora tenophora is a phylum that's generally show the exclusively marine marine invertebrates invertebrate animal that animals is known as sea walnuts sea walnuts and comb jellies comb jellies when we are talking about tenophora it means there is a presence of ciliated plates ciliated plates known as teens and that teens is also known as cones that are these cones or teens are radially arranged radially arranged on spherical body on body features or body type as of spherical type spherical body when we are talking about the phylum nidarians or tenophora in which again lack of it generally show the lack of whorl of tentacles lack of whorl of tentacles around the mouth around the mouth they also lack the specialized specialized stinking cells as we all know peculiar or special type of stinking cell is known as a needoblast and our question is asking the two feature only the presence of biradial symmetry and lack of needoblast that are present both the features in the answer for this is the phylum cilentrates phylum cilentrates in which the examples are tenoplana and biroi biroi are the examples that are correct in the options why these two are correct one because first is the absence there is a lack that is absence of tenoblast that is a stinking cell and next one is the presence of radial symmetry that is biradial symmetry because our question is asking the two feature that is a biradial symmetry and lack of needoblast these two are the correctly match in option c that is tenoplana and biroi so option c is the right one in this case let's move on to the next question 
the next question from phylum or animal kingdom is the mouth parts of anopheles mosquito are adapted for when we are discussing about female anopheles mosquito that are adapted for a chewing b sucking c biting and d both b and c when we are discussing about the question we all know the mouth parts of anopheles is generally of sucking type that is generally of sucking type why there is a sucking type features because of mouth parts of insects mouth parts of insects feed on feed on fluids feed on fluids so they have to suck that fluid what kind of fluids they feed on they generally feed or take that fluid first they take that fluid with a tube known as proboscis name as proboscis through which they suck they suck the liquid and release of saliva release of saliva due to which the person is infected or injected again the peculiar features of piercing piercing and sucking type piercing and sucking type of mouth parts sucking type of mouth parts can be seen in can be seen in blood sucking mosquitoes blood sucking mosquitoes these blood sucking mosquitoes and the best example for this is female anopheles mosquito which show the sucking mouth parts which fed on various kinds of human beings and the various blood sucking organism female anopheles when we are talking about the male anopheles that is again show the sucking type of mouth parts but that feed on the plant juices plant juices that is the peculiar difference between the female one and the male because female anopheles fed on the blood basically they also show the sucking type of mouth parts in male also they show the sucking mouth parts sucking type of mouth parts but they generally use that mouth parts for suck the various plant juices so when we are discussing about the mouth parts that are present in the female anopheles so after discussing in both male and female we go to know that they are of a sucking types so sucking is the right answer in this case so after discussing we generally choose the right one that is option b that is sucking type of mouth parts present in female anopheles mosquito and the male one so move on to the next question that is from the animal kingdom that is excretory organ of phylum platyhelminths is option a renate cell b flame cells c nephridia and d lysocells when we are discussing about the platyhelminths that is the phylum platyhelminths we all know there is a presence of flame cells and that flame cells is the exclusive and 
peculiar or advanced features or specialized feature of phylum platyhelminths for example of phylum platyhelminths which generally show the best flame cell development and the functioning that is planaria that is planaria now what are the flame cells now we are discussing what are flame cells these flame cells are these flame cells are nucleated cell body nucleated cell body with cup shaped projection with cup shaped projections and they are the specialized they are known as a specialized excretory cells that are present in the planaria body and phylum platyhelminths these cup shaped cells are covered by are covered by cilia through inner surface through inner surface what are the various roles of these cilia these cilia show or beating of these cilias beating of cilias resemble a flame resemble a flame that's why the cell name as flame cells because of the beating effect because of the peculiar beating effects of these cilia what are the various functions the functions of these cell is the function of these cell is to regulate the regulate the osmotic pressure regulate the osmotic pressure of worm worm means phylum platyhelminths the species the various organism that occur in the phylum platyhelminths and maintain its and maintain its ionic balance ionic balance the various kinds of microvilli are also present at the end of the tube to reabsorb some ions so when we are discussing about the special type of excretory organ that is phylum platyhelminths we know that generally present in the form of flame cells why we name it as a flame cells because of the beating effect of cilia which show like the flame of a candle that's why we name the cell as a flame cells and that generally regulate the osmotic pressure and ionic balance and there is a presence of some kind of microvilli in the cell that regulate this so the right answer for the question is option b that is flame cell so move on to the next question the next question from animal kingdom is which cells are useful for feeding in sponges a porocytes b collar cells c pinacocytes and d sclerocytes when we are talking about the feeding one the feeding purpose the feeding cells we know in the phylum porifera or the sponges there is a collar cells also known as coenocytes also known as coenocytes which found in sponges these cells are basically flagellated 
flagellated type of collar cells flagellated collar cells in sponges flagellated collar cells in sponges maintain helps to maintain the flow of food the flow of food that food generally occur with the water so with the help of collar cells they men generally maintain the water current through the body and collar cells generally entrap the food particles present in the water these collar cells presence are the peculiar features peculiar features of porifera phylum porifera these collar cells are now what are the peculiar features of collar cells collar cells are uniflagellate means there is a presence of single flagella uniflagellate and collared that's why the name is as collared cells the beating effect of beating of flagella beating of flagella creates water current creates water current that helps that help in capturing capturing the food so according to the question the question is asking what are the cells that use for feeding in sponges so the right answer for that is collar cells because they are generally collared and uniflagellate they are generally collared and uniflagellates and help the beating of their flagella to capturing the food and that is a peculiar feature shown by the phylum porifera so the right answer for the question is option b that is collar cell let's move on to the last question from phylum animal kingdom that is how are annelida advanced over nematoda option a are presence of hemoglobin in plasma b are metameric segmentation C trusilom and D all of these when we are discussing about the phylum nematoda when we are talking about nematodes and nematoda we generally know that they possess pseudocilom pseudo means false silom means cavity pseudo silom like the another annelids they generally possess a well developed fluid filled fluid filled silom fluid filled silom they have the proper blood vascular system blood vascular system and in this blood vascular system and in this blood vascular system they generally possess the hemoglobin presence hemoglobin presence in their plasma so these above features are the evolutionary evolutionary advance character of evolutionary advance character of annelids over nematodes annelids over nematodes is showing the 
मैटामैरिक मैटामैरिक सेगमेंटेशन सो इन द अब डिस्कसिंग मैनर एनालिज आर मोर एडवांस फ्रॉम निमेटोड्स सो द राइट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन इज ऑल फीचर्स ऑल फीचर्स इंक्लूडिंग इन द ऑप्शन हेल्प इन द इवोल्यूशनरी एडवांसमेंट ऑफ एनालिट्स ओवर निमेटो सो द राइट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑल ऑफ दीज ऑल ऑफ दीज दैट इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन इन द प्लाज्मा एज वी डिस्कस इन द सोल्यूशन पार्ट मैटामेरिक सेगमेंटेशन एंड ट्रू सिलोम all these are the features shown by the analytes over nematodes so d is the right option for this question so this is all about the questions from animal kingdom stay tuned for the next session from mesostudy.com thank you so much